A, your appetites be as big as me beard. Ah, shiver me timbers, this is some good food, big beard. I'm so full, I couldn't eat another bite. Tis a shame, me daughter, lilt beyond away with some of our famous shrimps and a sword. Oh, well, you didn't let me finish, I couldn't eat another bite unless it's served on a sword. Order up everyone. Thank yeah. you. Kalu, you. Nope, me first time most important. Okay, um, Caillou, you can fight these shrimp to your belly. That's not how I consume food but thank you. Rosie, I think you will find this gingerly tasty. Yay, wordplay, fun. And last but not least, Leo. The boy who storms my brain, daily. I was, kinda, wanting some wordplay. So are you officially official with anybody online? No but I am officially thirsty. I'm thirsty, too. I mean uh, I'll go get you a draft water you beautiful dodo. Careful, careful. No. My bad Boris. I'm trying out different instruments to see if I'm musically inclined. Well I'm inclined to say that you're not. Dad, how does this sound? This has been Rosie, and remember, you can't spell community without unity. That was pretty good Rosie, but hey how does this sound? This is your father asking, what are you talking about? I got selected to be a young leader of tomorrow retreat. You know if I can impress her, I might get to serve on her neighborhood youth council. Oh, you are definitely gonna impress her. Now I didn't get in last year but, I got in this year. Like you always say dad, never give up. I said that? I'm awesome. Hey dad, how does this sound? This has been Caillou. And remember, you can't spell Caillou without C-A-I-L-L-O-U. Seriously? I didn't know the two of you were signing up for the retreat. Not at all, Caillou you can't sign up. Uh, me? You can't sign up. I'm signing up for the Neighborhood Youth Council. Why are you signing up? I want to make a difference in this world. Well I want to do it for the attention. I don't understand why the two of you can't sign up. I miss having 14 year old problems. Kai you don't sign up. How about you don't sign up? Are, are you, you kidding, kidding me? me? I can't believe I'm stuck doing the neighborhood council with you. This is a nightmare. Yeah, a nightmare for me. I said nightmare first. You don't own Nightmare. Hey Caillou, why are you so mad? I'm so sick of Rosie doing everything I do, signing up for everything I sign up for, saying everything I say. Kalu, Kalu, Kalu. Are you okay? What happened? I don't know, it was really worried. I think I'm better at sculpting than I am at painting. Neil. My bad Boris. Whatever. Whatever. And now what are you two arguing about? The owner neighborhood girl chose us both to host the commentary. Because we're brother and sister. I don't understand what you two are fighting about. Honestly, this is the most you've ever been in sync. That's, That's what, what we're, we're fighting, fighting about. about. Well, I think you guys are lucky to be like each other. But we're not, we're individuals. Yeah, we're different people with different ideas. Well then you should respect each other's ideas, okay? Alright now what do you want for dinner? Spanakopita. Not you Venus de Milo Destroyer. Pizza. Pizza. Pork, Pork chops, chops with string beans and, and apple sauce. sauce. Spanakopita, you, you don't, don't even, even know, know what Spanakopita is. Caillou. Caillou? The same thing happened outside today. Leo how long was he stuck earlier? Not this long. Maybe we should throw water in his face. Rosie calm down alright, that only happens in movies. Don't worry, I know somebody that can help, he has seen something like this in his life. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Interesting. Fascinating.
Intriguing. We have tried every single thing known in existence to snap him out of it, nothing works. Have you tried throwing water in his face? No, cause apparently that only happens in movies. What's going on? Hello, my name is Dr. Nitsky. Well I'd like to run some tests, and get to the bottom of what's causing you to glitch Caillou. By using this VR Activator 4.0, we can scan your brain waves that checks if there are any problems. Is it gonna hurt? Ever been stung in the head by a thousand bees? What? Don't worry, I'm joking. That's weird, nothing's happening. What happened exactly before Caillou froze? The two of them were fighting. There's a theory that suggests the two of them are connected on a deeper level than most siblings. Well this did not work at all. Well what do you say we get out of here? Rosie we are here to help your brother. Yeah, I have a condition Rosie. Did you say you need attention? Okay alright, it's been a long day. Dr. Nightski can we maybe pick this up again tomorrow morning? No dad I can't. We're live streaming my very first speech for the neighbor council group. Um, our first segment, and it's gonna be on skateboard stunts. Actually I only need to see Caillou. No. Yes. Wait a second, so you don't need Rosie? No, we can gather her data remotely. She'll just have to wear a mobile device, you won't even know you're wearing it. Are you really gonna wear that for your first commentary? No, I'm gonna take it off. Do my commentary then put it back on. Dr. Nitsky will never even know. Please put the helmet back on. Please put the helmet back on. Leo, what do I do? Uh, put the helmet back on. Welcome to the Neighborhood Council Group Commentary with me, Rosie. Caillou is out sick, so lucky for you, I'll be your solo host today. Now I know you may be wondering why I'm wearing this helmet, because my topic today is, skateboarding. Skateboarding? I've combined safety and fashion with this cute helmet. I can't believe she stole my topic, and look, she is even pointing her arm out like me. What's wrong with Rosie? Oh, I must have activated the limbulator, since their brain waves are connected mobily through the helmet. It's causing Rosie to simulate the movement of Caillou. Ha 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 oh I mean shut it off. Now, it's time to embarrass Rosie. Um anyway, skateboard safety is a very serious subject, which apparently makes me want to dance. Can we cut to commercial? There aren't any commercials. You made me embarrass myself in front of everyone. You stole my skateboarding segment. Only because I have to wear this dumb helmet because of your condition. It is a condition. It's attention. Condition. Attention. Condition. Hold up, we're finally seeing some energy, more arguing. No problem, I dislike you you, you skateboard segment stealing. Caillou? Uh oh he's frozen again. This can only mean one thing, Kalo and Rosie arguing is causing a viscosity in Kalo's mind which manifests itself as a cationic mid-freeze condition. I don't know what you said but can you cure my son? Yes, all I have to do is clean out his memory. Oh well, only temporarily, right doc? Well, there's a small chance he will get them back, but I should warn you, if we don't there's a possibility he'll be stuck like this forever. Is there any way to fix this without having to remove his memory? I'm afraid there isn't. But don't worry, my associate Dr. Jasmine will oversee the procedure. She's the best in the field. Here she comes now. No way, your mom got a new car? Does it have a sunroof? It does? Oh my gosh, when you open it can you see the sky? You can? Oh I have to go, I have a patient. Hello, I'm Dr. Jasmine. Hello, can you fix my son? Interesting. Fascinating. Intriguing. She's also my granddaughter. I concur with your initial diagnosis, doctor. Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm really sorry for all of our fighting. I promised I'll try really hard not to always argue but just please, wake up and, be you. My children love each other, 
they do. What should we do now? I don't know but I'm starving. Anybody want to order some big beards? Dude, my brother is gonna lose his memory. Of course I want big beards. Mark for delivery. It would tickle the tips of me beard hairs to bring you some food. Okay. One Kalu, Leo, Boris, and Rosie special coming up. But we also want a big box of fish biscuits, an order of lobster thermometer which, obviously dates back to the French Revolution. And finally, one clam. Just one, we lost split it. Hello? You still there? Guys I think he hung up on me. There could be any fix to this problem. Could Kalu be cursed because one of us offended a witch? Oh, see, now that makes a lot of sense. No, guys I seriously doubt it's a witch. Hold on I figured it out. Oh you found a vengeful witch. It's not a witch. What is it dad? This movie will explain everything. I hope it's Shrek. That donkey is so funny. Hey, this may be our last chance to watch a movie with Kalu so, let's all just quiet down and watch this movie together. Lights off. Oh hello there, you caught me sciencing. I'd like to talk to you about a sensitive but serious issue, brain freezing. Yeah, I'm at to. Wait, 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 wait. Don't leave. I'm scared of the dark. Having this happen to you can be strange. To reverse the effect, try swimming in a lake near a nuclear power plant. You're well, that was a waste so of time. Break. Say, does anyone else have anything they want to tell Kalo before I turn on the old fun stick? Uh, no. Okay. Wait. Are you okay? Did it wipe your memory? I don't think so. Did it wipe yours? I'm okay, I know I am. Are you okay? I'm okay. Oh, what a relief. But who are you people? And who am I? There's a microscopic navigational capsule in the middle of the floor. In the middle of where now? It's on the floor. It's just too small for you to see. Back up everyone. Dad, watch out. Dr. Nightski, tell us how to unbreak my dad's brain. We need to reset it, then we'll get it back. How do we reset someone's brain? Yeah, is there like an on-off switch somewhere? Yes, on his hippocampus. Now, we need someone to enter this capsule, get shrunk down and inject it into Boris's head, then pilot the capsule into his brain and deliver an extremely high voltage electrical shock directly onto his hippocampus. Youch. I'd hate to be this porous guy. Let's shrink this pod and get into Dad's bod. Leo, is Boris secured? He's good. In three, two, one. Kalo, can you hear me? Uh, yeah? Oh my god it worked. I can't believe it worked. What do you mean you can't believe it worked? There is a 5% chance that it would work. 10 people found that out the hard way. Whoa. Have you never done this before? With a human? With anything? Oh, no I have not. Hey is everything good out there? Yeah, yeah. No one's surprised you're alive. I am. What? Nothing. We're going to put you inside Boris's head now. Hey Boris, just gonna put a little drop of water. What's that? I don't want that. I don't know what that is. Hey, look at the guy on my phone. Well, hello handsome. Okay Caillou. In 20 seconds you have to press the pink button. Countdown. Starting. Now. Okay, where's the pink button? It's on the table in front of you. This is where somebody messed up at. Dude, they're all pink. One is salmon, one is bubblegum, one is flamingo. Running out of time here? Hit the pink button now. Which one is pink? Tell me where pick a corner left, right or done or. It's this one. That's pink. Rosie? Ugh, 
Why are boys so bad with colors? Am I right, Jasmine? What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? As you can see, I snuck in here. This ship is bananas. Um, uh, guys. You're at the hippocampus. Emergency stop. You have arrived at your destination. How did you know how to? I know what an emergency break is. What do we do now, Dr. Nitsky? Okay, you have to arm the electrical pulse inducer before you set it. Okay, how do we do that? Press the light blue button on your left hand side. Are you kidding me right now? That's Summer Sky. Swiss Ocean. There you go. There are no oceans in Switzerland who even comes up with these names. We're armed. No, I could stare at you all day. Oops. Okay, the charge is set. Great. Now you have two minutes to get out of Boris's head before that charge goes off. Wait, what? Why do we have to get out in two minutes? Well, you don't have to, but if you don't get out of there before the electrical peel inducer goes off, the blast will short out the capsule and you'll be stuck in Boris's head. Forever? Well, no, I mean yes. Dude, why didn't you just make a pulse inducer that detonates remotely? That's a great idea, I'll do that the next time someone's memory gets wiped. Whatever we're on our way, meet us at Boris's left ear. You should have plenty of time. Yeah, you'll be fine, as long as nothing goes wrong. Come on, man. Oh, what's happening? I never thought I'd see you again. Dr. Nitsky, there's a bunch of alarms going off and lights blinking. What color lights? Uh, Swiss sky. Flamingo Ocean they're all blinking Dr. Nightski. Don't worry, there's no need to panic. Uh, there's a tube hanging off the ship and leaking something all over the place. That's the fuel line. Is that bad? Well, no, I mean, yes, you can now panic. Dr. Nightski. There's got to be something we can do to fix this. Well, there is but you have to go outside the capsule and plug the fuel line back in. Okay so how do we do that? First press the release emergency suit button, it's baby bunny pink. How many stupid colorful buttons are there? Found it. Uh, something's going on with Boris. Uh oh, the fuel must be leaking into his brain. I got this. Now Kalo, crawl outside the capsule. I'll go. No I have to go. Calm down Boris you're gonna kill Caillou and Rosie. Who is Boris? Caillou just let your sister go outside and fix the fuel line. No that's my job. I'm gonna risk my life by. Done. What? I fixed it. Let's go. Did you seriously just fix that? How did you fix it so fast? Okay. I will control the capsule from here on out, hold on tight. Got it. Wait Rosie move there. Left. Right. Left right left right left right left right left right left right. Stop. They're in his ear, you have to get them out. How? Use this. What do I do with this? Shove it up his ear and suck them out. Dead, dead, day, ah, uh, yeah. Leo, Dr. Nitsky, Dr. Jasmine. What happened to Caillou and Rosie? Hello. Get us out of here. They're, They're alive. alive. Guys, I think I know the cause to why Caillou's brain was affected by this. The cause would have to be a lobster marinated in red eyed mudfish. Big Beards. Rosie. What? Big Beard is just a guy with a glorious beard and a daughter who likes to smell my hair. I say we go down to Big Beards with some duct tape and a duck. Come on, let's go. Uh, table four. Two, please. Leo, right this way.
I'm so glad the two of you are back, especially you, Leo. Now, it be hammer time. Not so fast, Big Beard. Uh-oh, Leo. Something is going on the kitchen. Freeze. The both of you. Hold on. I was trying to stop him from poisoning people with his ingredients. He's the one you want. Is there be a problem, officer? You're coming with me. Kalu, are you okay? Yeah, but we could never resolve my issue about me freezing up. The best thing you can do is try to not get in any fights with Rosie. But don't worry, we're in this together, we're family. Thanks, Dad. Kalu, what happened? I don't know about you, but I think our combined love fixed my issue where I would freeze. I'm back, I'm actually back. Woo, my son is back.